Time to look at uh, some of the business headlines in our region now. With me is management consultant from Persuasion in Didsbury, Bill Doherty, MBE. Oh. Must remember the MBE. Oh. Welcome, yeah. Bill. Good to yeah. see you again. Okay. Um, before we get on to recession and whether we're out of it or not, interest rates uh, stayed the same today. Significant in any way, do you think? So total irrelevance to the business community. Interest rates used to be a big thing. Now the banks don't pay any interest any interest at all in what the Bank of England does with that. It's a different interest rate that you're using. So that's more sort of man in the street is interested it's, in it's mortgage rates and stuff like that, but the business community aren't bothered? Not bothered. But the big thing about today is that the bank said that they're going to continue to give £175 billion to the banks. And the banks are taking that money and doing very little with that's it. That's our money, isn't it? That's, that's public money. That's our money. £175 billion yep. being given by the Bank of England to the banks, the, yes. which are commercial enterprises, yep. and yet still we hear this, the banks aren't lending enough, they the aren't. banks aren't supporting the business community. So why not, and when is it going to start to happen, do you think? Uh, <laughs> it's going to start to happen when government turn around and actually tell them Start acting like banks. I mean, at the present moment, these guys are taking that money. It's like taking a pound off you and saying, we will put 20 pence back into the economy and we'll keep 80 pence for ourselves. And that's what's happening. They're building up the reserves. And Mr They're... Darling is letting them do that? Yes. Simp I'm, I'm it's simple. Well, I mean, I've heard, you know, the opposition are crying out for something like this. Mr Cameron has been saying we've got to get the banks lending again. They haven't legislated for it. So are the banks going to wait for an upturn in the economy before they think it's safe to risk the money again? Yes. Yes, absolutely. And, and, and was it the Bank of England itself is frustrated as heck because if we go back to the 60s, what happened was if you gave the banks a pound, they would lend five pounds. Go back five years to give them a pound, they'd lend 20 pounds. Now, give them a pound and they're investing 20 pence in this economy. Well, the economy is um, improving. If you believe uh, one of the world's leading economists, Larry Cantor, who's head of global research at Barclays Capital, says the recession is over. Uh, the Halifax are saying house prices have risen for the second month in a row. Are we out of recession? Yes. What do you think? We are. Without any doubt. Um, and what I'm seeing that in businesses that have got cash at the present moment. They're all planning. I mean, I'm, I'm, this morning I, I was with six guys and we are planning to grow our businesses up to 60 to 100 million pounds in the next five years. You're out of recession. But what's happening, and the worry for businesses, and especially small businesses, that as soon as we start coming out and we start seeing real signs of that on the high street and the banks start lending money, they're then going to go in and they're going to start repossessions. They're going to start uh, closing businesses down. They're not doing it right now, and the reason for that is there is no value. But I think from November on... Because the businesses aren't worth anything at the moment. They're not worth anything. Right. They will soon be worth something, and as soon as that happens, those guys that have been struggling for the last year, two years, to keep their head above water... ..are going to be repossessed or have their, their businesses taken and away. That's well, surely that, that, will, that, that will inhibit the, 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 the development of the economy again, won't it? If yes. We, well, we're, getting the, we're getting the green shoots, and then you just cut them off at the top. That's it. It's, it's not right, is it's it? Not right. It's, 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 it's not right. But... We, we need to go in. We need to say to the banks, very simply, don't do what you did the last time. Actually, reward these people who have... They've kept thousands, millions of people in jobs. And whenever this, the green shoots start turning into real money, we're going to see people going into the streets for no reason other than, I, I would suggest, the banks wanting to build their balance sheets up again. So they've just, they've just got to be patient. They will get their money if, if, they, let, yeah. if they let the economy grow. But uh, Chris from the Chamber of Commerce told me earlier this week in, unemployment is still yet to rise, although it we're is. out of efficiency, out of recession. We're still yeah. going to see an increase yeah. in unemployment. When will that turn, do you think? When will that to sort I think of level out? My view is, is November is when cash will start to move in the businesses. Um, that's when the housing market, I think, is going to take off. We're going to have a bit of a dip in December, uh, beginning of January, and then we're going to see how price is going up very dramatically. In terms of, of business and in terms of this unemployment thing, yeah. I think it will hit us around about uh, January, February time next year. OK. Well, it's nice to have some good news on the business front yeah. uh, after these difficult times. Bill, always nice to see you.